Welcome to section two. In this section, we're going to talk about predictive modeling. Specifically, in this section, we're going to take a look at predictive modeling. We're going to talk about its purpose, we're going to go through some examples, and then we're going to talk about the different types of predictive models that you can build. From there, we're going to talk about the characteristics and also provide some examples of statistical predictive models. After that, we're going to go through a specific example of how to use linear regression, which is a statistical predictive model. We'll talk about its purpose, we'll talk about some of its formulas, and we're going to go through a demonstration. After that, we'll talk about the assumptions of linear regression. From there, we'll talk about the characteristics and also provide some examples of decision tree models, which are another type of model. And after that, we're going to specifically talk about shade, which is a type of decision tree model. We'll talk about its purpose and its theory. From there, we'll give a demonstration of Chade, and then we'll talk about how to interpret Chade's results. Finally, we're going to talk about the characteristics and also provide examples of machine learning models. After that, we'll specifically talk about a neural net model, which is a machine learning model. We'll talk about its purpose and its theory. Then we're going to go through a demonstration. And then finally, we're going to talk about how to compare models. In this video, we're going to talk about predictive modeling. Specifically, we're going to talk about its purpose, we're going to provide some examples, and we're going to talk about the different types of predictive models that are available. In this video, we're going to talk about the general purpose of predictive modeling, we're going to provide some examples of predictive models, and then we're going to talk about the different types of predictive models. Predictive modeling is the most common type of modeling out there. Just to provide an example, we may be trying to predict buying behavior based on previous purchase patterns, and demographic characteristics. The main idea behind predictive modeling is that you're going to be trying to predict some kind of outcome. And you're going to use information from various fields. We call them predictors, but you could also call them independent variables, for example. And we're going to try to forecast an outcome or a target or a dependent variable. So that's going to be the main purpose. Now, the predictions that we're going to get can come in the form of equations, or rules or algorithms that are going to try to attempt to understand or explain the outcome. In terms of just providing some examples of some of the types of predictive models that are available, you can, for example, try to determine which students are going to pass or fail a class. You can also do something like predictive policing so that you can deploy police officers in different locations before crimes actually happen. You can also try to forecast the number of unfilled hotel rooms three months from now. You might also try to project which patients are likely to have a heart attack. Or you could try to estimate how much each customer is going to purchase or what they're going to purchase. As another example, you might try to classify which shipping containers are likely to carry drugs or weapons. Or finally, you might try to identify when an IP address is sending unusual amounts of information. So as you can see, there are many ways in which you can use predictive models. You name the area, there are many ways in which you can use predictive modeling to try to improve your situation. In terms of the different types of predictive models that are available, there are three main classes. There are statistical models, and we'll talk about this in more detail, but an example that we're going to give is linear regression. You also have what are called decision tree models. And again, an example that we're going to provide is how to use Chade. And then finally, there are machine learning models. And again, an example that we're going to provide is using a neural net model. So in the next few videos in this section, we're going to talk about each one of these different types of predictive models. We'll talk about its benefits and also some of the limitations that they have. But the main thing I want you to remember right now is that whether we're talking about statistical predictive models or decision tree predictive models or machine learning predictive models, they can all be used when you have a categorical outcome variable or a continuous outcome variable. In the videos that you're going to see next, you'll see that we'll use a statistical model for when we have a continuous outcome variable, and we're going to use a decision tree model and a machine learning model when we have a categorical outcome variable. Those are just the examples that we're going to provide. Again, predictive models, whether they're statistical, decision tree, or machine learning models, can be used regardless of the type of outcome variable that you have available.